I started it. All right, so that's why you're making me suffer. Yeah. Hey! I suffered for my art. <laughs> oh, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a Scorpio thing. We can't help ourselves. We're over the top. Drama, drama, drama. Let's see. I should do my, one of my new fairy tales for you. You know, the funny thing about fairy tales is we were talking about Disney earlier. And, you know, I love their animation. I've grown up with it. And, and for a certain amount of time, I actually subscribed to the Disney-esque way of life. Um, but, you know, it really isn't that way. And, and, and actually, the fairy tales are much harsher um, than, than what Disney would have portrayed them to be during a certain period of time. I think they're getting a little better now. I think they, they realize kids are come, becoming a little more savvy. And they, they, don't, they don't sweeten things quite as much. But, but you know, this, the case in point is, is this wonderful, wonderful character who was always my favorite. I, I love this guy. And I think it's just because I love animals. I can't help it. But I have always had a soft spot for boots in boots. <laughs> <laughs> now, not the Puss in Boots that everybody knows, but the real Puss in Boots, the real story of Puss in Boots. And if you go and you research what the real story of Puss in Boots really <coughs> is, um, first off, he tricks his owner into giving him his only pair of boots. And his owner is a peasant who has absolutely nothing but his boots and the cat. That's all he has. <laughs> all right? Oh, and an empty sack. Right? So he takes the empty sack and the boots and says, Hasta la vista, leaves the peasant alone. And so first thing he does is he tricks his, his owner. Second thing he does is he goes and he, he, he just goes and captures wildlife out in, 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 in you know, the forest, takes it to the king and lies to the king. He lies to the king. He says, oh yes, this came from my master, my master who, who worships you and thinks you're the greatest king ever, and his name is the Marquis de Carabas. There's no Marquis de Carabas. He's making this stuff up. Right? And then, then he goes through the town and he sees all these, these fields and stuff like this and he goes and makes a few inquiries and he finds out that all these people are being oppressed. <coughs> they're being oppressed by this mean old troll that lives down at the end of the road. And he figures, well, if, if, they, if they're so easily intimidated, I'll just intimidate them more. And he scares them half to death and he says, all right, he says, next time somebody says, you know, well, who do you work for? You don't answer the big scary troll at the end of the street. You say you work for the Marquis de Carabas. And they're like, why should I do that? And he's like, because if you don't, I'm going to come back and slice all of you and your family members into 5,000 pieces from my master's table. So he's threatening people now, all right? <laughs> and, then, and then the final, the coup de grace here, is he goes to the troll. And he tricks the troll into turning himself into a mouse where he promptly eats him. And I do believe that's called murder. <laughs> all right? But this guy is a hero. This guy is a hero that we model ourselves after. We think, yeah, we could be like Puss in Boots someday. Well, you know... Sometimes I think Puss has really got it. Sometimes, sometimes you just got to get out there and eat the darn troll. You know? Sometimes when all you've got is an empty sack and your wit, and wit, of course, means whatever it takes. <laughs> Not the head that determines what's real If you're stuck in your life where you don't want to stay Open up, light your heart, and then make your own way Locked inside, working hard is for some Tell you now that I never will be that same one. Gentle breeze and the wide ever beckoning road makes for stories from which all great legends are told. Give me talent and let me roam free. I can make you the master of your destiny. Empty bag in my wits about me, I will bring home the treasures of life so the whole world can see. I am free <laughs> Some folk think they must follow the rules 
tell you now that there are very different schools. We should not be controlled by the winds of our fate. And I think that it's foolish to sit around and wait. Give me time to let me roam free. I can make you the master of your destiny. Empty bag in my wits about me, I will bring home the treasures of life so the whole world can see. Boots, I am free. These boots, I am free. I can make something real out of my fantasy. Inspiration's the key that I'll use to create what I want my own fate now. I can do many things. Talk to commoners, jacks, queens, and hire off to kings. Kick a bad guy right out of his big tiny <coughs> house. To my eyes, he's only a little fat mouse. Give it all to let me roam free. I can make you a master of your destiny. Empty bag of my wits about me. I will bring all the pleasures of life. So the whole world can see With my boots I am